It is essential to draw a free body diagram for any Newton law type problem. So for example, if you have a skydiver jumping out of an airplane, well, in order to understand his motion, we first need to know what forces are acting on him. So let's draw him here before he opens his parachute. Well, we know that the force of gravity acting between him and Earth is pulling him downwards. We will label that his weight, which we know equals his mass times gravity. There is also an upward force, and that's the force of the drag from the air resistance. At first, that force is small because he's not moving very fast, but as he starts moving faster, let's put him down here moving faster, the lines indicate he's going faster, I think, and now the force of drag increases due to his higher speed, and eventually he'll reach a terminal velocity. At terminal velocity, the acceleration is zero. He's no longer increasing his speed. So let me draw that situation. And here, the free body diagram will simply look like this. Two equal but opposite forces. I've shrunk them both. So, we can also see this through Newton's second law, which tells us that the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. In other words, the total force equals mass times acceleration, Therefore, in our situation, F1 plus F2 equals zero because the acceleration is zero. Or, in other words, the drag force minus the force of his weight must equal zero. And that's this situation here where he's going at constant velocity. Well, let's now consider the case where he opens his parachute. So he's going at a very high speed. And then he opens his parachute. Well, initially, when he opens his parachute, He's going quite fast, and therefore the drag force will slow him down. So we draw the drag force like this. You can see that it's bigger than the force of his weight. Again, we have two forces, one going upward, one going downward. Well, eventually the parachute will slow him down enough that he'll reach terminal velocity. And again, at terminal velocity, V equals a constant. It's not changing. And therefore, the acceleration is zero. And the free body diagram will completely balance. It is always important to label your forces and draw them as accurately as possible. Always draw a free body diagram before starting a Newton's Law problem. It shows you what's going on. 